Hi, um, I'm Dr. Cliff Lee, and I'm a senior lecturer in entrepreneurship and also the director of education for the sub department Innovation, Technology, and Entrepreneurship at the University of Exeter Business School. My journey with Evolution started when I was still in my previous employment. I remember one day when we were having a team teaching meeting, and、um, my lab manager told me that we have access to this.、Um, Very nice gamification simulation、uh, platform, and I got very interested in that. And I said that I would be very keen to、um, incorporate that in a module that I was teaching. So I reached out to the SimVenture Evolution team、uh, to understand how the simulation works. And、uh, once I got to sh- I got to know how it works and how、uh, the what kind of different things that students can do in this platform, I got really excited. I immediately wanted to incorporate incorporate this simulation in my teaching in my module. In my experience, when students are、um, going through a module with Simventure Evolution incorporated, or、um, or the module is based on Simventure Simventure Evolution,、um, they are very engaged in that because from day one we're teaching them well. First of all, how to use The different aspects,、um, different functions of the simulation,、uh, so that they know how to do it、uh, to start with. So they are kind of engaged、uh, from day one、um, throughout the process, and they once they know how to use different functions in the simulation, they feel more in control. In that, I'm just telling them that I'm setting the scene that now you are running this company, so every decision that you make will have an impact, and you are. Kind of fully responsible for the performance of your company. So then students kind of are working in that kind of context, and they're not just working towards, let's say, an assignment, but they're, they're working towards how they can improve their performance in the gamified and simulated environment. So I think using simulation or using evolution in this classroom definitely boosts the engagement. In terms of student performance. Um, there are sort of different aspects to this one because、um, one is the performance in the、um, simulation itself. The other is the performance outside of it、um, in the final assessment. So、um, I can expand a bit more on the simulation performance itself. I've had students, for example, a student who start、uh, in the very initial stage of the simulation, which is、uh, what we call a seed scenario. In the seed scenario, I've seen a student. Who has taken the company till year ten, and has built the company from kind of scratch from day zero, day one, to year ten to a two million business and two million pound business. I think that that is amazing because it is really difficult for a student to actually start from a scratch、uh, at a seed scenario、um, that can take the company through a A ten-year period without going to bankrupt, without、um, making all different kinds of mistakes, and then I can see how students can be so engaged and so sometimes even immersed in this experience that they can't even can't even stop. But they also、uh, produce really good outcome. Whereas a lot of students, when they some good ones, when they are engaged in like the growth scenario, which、uh, is slightly an easier kind of scenario to work with because you get to have more resources. And more、um, access to different aspects of the、uh, simulation itself. Then it's easy for for the student to take the company starting from a growth scenario to year ten, where the company can be、uh, maybe over ten million、uh, pound worth company. So that's kind of the performance I can see. And I think this is worth expanding because this is not something that you will see in a traditional kind of lecture or module without a simulation or without evolution in it, because You really cannot. You don't have kind of a metric to really assess their performance、uh, in that in that sense, apart from the final assessment. Well, teaching with evolution is quite a different experience compared to teaching other modules.、Um, I think to start with,、uh, we get support from the Simulation Evolution team from day one, so we know how things work from the back end. Uh, we get to see the sort of the the control tower and so on, and we also get 
access to some uh, teaching materials. So I think when we are kind of developing a module, when we are uh, teaching a module, we always think about the course design, the module design. And uh, sometimes it takes a lot of time and a lot. there's a lot of pressure involved when, when it comes to developing teaching materials. And I think uh, what Simventure Evolution does is it gives us kind of different prompts in the format of case studies so that we, we have a starting point in terms of what we do in the classroom. I think another aspect of it is that it, it requires a mindset change Change in that when we are delivering uh, traditional modules, then we are basically the only speaker in the lecture theater um, talking to students. But uh, working with simulation is different because we get to ask students to do something in the class. We ask them, uh, for example, when I am delivering a case study, based on one of the scenarios in the simulation, I tell students, oh, here's the things that we are going to do today. And these are the things we look at. Uh, for example, the market research data, uh, the customer segment or the demographics. And these are the decisions you can make and try. And these are the number of quarters you run in this classroom. And uh, so then we come back and we discuss uh, our findings and then we conclude the lecture, uh, which is, completely different from, let's say, I'm giving a two hour lecture based on the materials I've prepared and I just keep talking, keep talking to students. Maybe I can throw in some activities with students, but most of the time it is me talking, but with using the, uh, or teaching with evolution, most of the time is students who are actively participating, engaging with the simulation itself and coming up with all different kinds of questions and to basically then I go there as a facilitator and try to answer those questions uh, to start with. But sometimes if I cannot uh, have immediate answer to those questions, then I will then also work with them to discover and try to explore what could the reason be. Um, so it's kind of a co-learning experience between the educator and the students.